Today we're gonna to talk about five black P-Stone sets in Chicago. Stone, tangent, the Black P-Stone Nation, also known as the Blackstone Rangers, founded by Jeff Ford and Eugene Hairston in the Woodlawn area of Chicago. It started as a community organization for African-American youths, aiming to protect them from rival gangs and foster unity and pride. Initially, they were involved in positive community activities and even received government funding. However, as the 1960s progressed, Black P-Stones grew in numbers and influence, gradually shifting from community programs to criminal activities like drug trafficking, extortion, and violent crime. Jeff Ford became a prominent leader that establishing a strict hierarchy within the gang. This growth led to increased rivalries with other gangs, resulting in violent conflicts and a notorious reputation. The 1970s and 1980s brought legal challenges for key leaders, including Fort facing convictions. Despite these challenges, the gang maintained its presence in Chicago, though it underwent leadership changes and internal restructuring. In recent years, the Black P-Stones have continued their activities, now fragmented into various factions operating in different areas of Chicago. At number five, we have Foster Park. Foster Park, situated in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood of Chicago, is a prominent set of the Black P Stones, stretching from 82nd to 87th between Racine and Ashland. Established in the 1970s, Foster Park has a long standing history and is recognized as one of the oldest sets in Chicago. The 1990s were a notable era for Foster Park particularly due to the influence of Reno Bullridge and his brother Dino. Both were significant figures within the Black Peastones nations during this time. Tragically, Reno Bullridge's life was cut short due to conflicts within the organization. Today, Foster Park stands as one of the largest single sets. At number four, we have Stone Tez. So this y'all area right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got all the way to 84th and Vincennes, all the way to 86th and Wallace. This is this where all the action happened at? Yeah, this is where everything happened Where you from, fool? Stone Tans, right, nigga, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Stone Terrace, also known as Stone Tez, is a gang rooted in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood, taking its name from the apartment complexes located at Kerford and Vincennes. The gang's origins trace back to the 1970s when it was initially a segment of the larger Ace Racketeer Stones. Over the years, Stone Tez, which is also recognized as RRG, has See. developed a significant alignment with the Black Disciples, yeah. particularly in the Washington Park yeah. and What school y'all went to? Three, we have a tray mob. In the Auburn Gresham neighborhood, the a tray mob emerged during the 1970s and 1980s. Initially, a tray maintained a close association with Foster Park, a relationship that is detailed in the book, The Almighty Black Peastones Nation, The Rise and Fall and Resurgence of an American Gang. However, recent conflicts has led to significant rift escalating into a gang war between the two groups. a tray is notable for its size and longevity as a set within the Black Peastones. It is distinguished by its internal structure comprising several distant cliques, including Juice Block, Beefy Block, and Aberdeen. At number two, we have Fintown. It started out on 87 gunslings, shit like that, but um, it came to Fintown, you know, they called it this Fintown. Like, you know, the Fintown. younger generation, you know, we got our, we got our own shit, but it's Fintown, though, shit. We always been in a cool, good money ass neighborhood. I'm all about your rap, nigga. Check it. 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 Check where you at? Where you at though? Where you at? I'm in the land of LT for sure. Yes, sir. 
In town, a gang affiliated with the Black P-Stones has been a part of the Auburn Gresham neighborhood since the early 1970s. Originally, Fintown, along with Rack City and Stone Tez, were unified under the collective name Ace Racketeer. However, in the 1980s, these groups underwent a division, leading to their separate identities as distant entities. At number one, we have Nateville. Nateville, situated in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood, holds a notable place in gang history as one of the first gangs to name their territory in honor of a fallen member. The gang's name is a tribute to Nate, a member who tragically lost his life in the 1980s. Heritage of Foster Park, Stone Tess, A Trey, Fintown, and Nateville offer a compelling glimpse into the multifaceted world of Black Peace Stones in Chicago. Each set with its distant history and evolution underscores the complexity of gang alliances and identity. These sets not only reflect the changing dynamics of gang culture, but also the enduring impact of these groups on their communities. Understanding these stories is crucial in comprehending the broader context of urban gang culture and its ongoing influence in Chicago neighborhoods.